<laughs> All right, let's move on to the third section of our practice. This is breathing and movement. We are going to use the same breathing technique we just used. It's called Ujjayi breath. But now we add movement, simple, easy movements, just to feel the body and mainly to appreciate our ability to move in life. We not only are able to move our joints like this, right? But we can also move ourselves in life from one position or situation or place to another. That gives you freedom. You are not stuck in any situation in your life. May, perhaps you have heard me say this before, but I say things here that we are not used to, used to hearing throughout the day. So we remember that the brain learns in two, only two ways, by repetition or by impact. When something makes a deep impact, we can learn it right away with only one repetition. But when the impact is not so deep, then we need a lot of repetition to learn something. So that's why I repeat a lot of what I say, not because I don't have anything else to share, but to instill and install inside the concepts that we are seeking through this practice along our day. And I hope that brings you blessings. Let's bring the palms together in front of the heart and begin to exhale through your nose. Blow all the air out. Then inhaling, bring the arms up, stretch, your spine, lengthen the arms, look up. Exhaling, arms open to the sides, they come down, expand your heart and move in celebration that you are mobile in life. You have the freedom to move yourself from one place, the place you are today, to the place where you want to be tomorrow. Beautifully, softly, sweetly, creatively and when you connect with that aspect of yourself you are indeed being the creator of your life of yourself next exhale lean to the side look up and twist your spine roll the shoulder back inhale come up breathe richly and in celebration next exhale lean to the other side inhale up Exhale forward. Release tension from the hips. Notice inside whether you are fighting with yourself when you do the movements. And if so, release the fighting. And connect with yourself and with the postures in sweetness. We develop a keen tendency to fight ourselves. How futile is that, huh? <laughs> we waste so much energy doing that. Let's instead do this practice to find harmony within ourselves. Next exhale, hands down behind your back. I will turn so that you can see, but you don't have to do it. Hands behind the back, fingers point forward. Don't point your fingers back like that. Point them forward, feet flat. Inhale, hips up, head back. Open your heart. Exhale, slowly come down. We are prioritizing the breath and having the body follow with the movement. Remember that throughout the day is the other way around. We prioritize what we're doing and then we restrict the breathing. And I already explained what restricting the breath does in our system. So let's break that automatic approach to life to approach life from contraction and stress and let's instead meet life fully opened, connected to the love in our hearts, the luminous presence of the soul. Turn over to your knees and hands. Hands are shoulder width, knees are hip width. Inhaling, arch your back and look towards your belly button. Exhaling. Belly button down, look forward and up. Curve your spine. Inhale, arch. Soft and simple movements, don't complicate yourself. Begin to practice noticing your mind thinking. The mind has this tendency to label and judge, criticize everything that it sees. 
But when we discipline the mind and we allow ourselves to see whatever we see without putting a label on it, we are allowing ourselves to listen to what that present has to tell us. Shift your left hand to the center and with the next inhale, right arm up. The whole of life is alive. The whole of life is available for us to interact with. Next exhale, go to the other side. As we allow through this practice to recognize our own divinity, we open ourselves up to recognize, see and interact with the divinity in everything that exists. Then the whole of life turns holy. That is indeed Tantra Yoga. Many people refer to Tantra Yoga as a sex practice. Sex is a very small part of the practice indeed. Next inhale, up high, open the heart. Tantra Yoga has to do with welcoming the whole of life as holy. Is sex included? Yes, definitely. And darkness and light. Next exhale, child's pose, forehead down, rest your ribs between your thighs. Inhale, come to your knees and hands. Exhale back, child's pose. This is a hip opener. It feels beautiful to release tension from the hips. Stuff the toes into the mat. Extend your legs, hips up in the air. Now you come to downward dog. Yeah, the head here is below the heart. Bicycle your feet, twisting your hips. Press gently your heart towards your toes and with your next inhale, look forward, walk the feet between the hands. Exhale, the head down, legs straight. Inhale, come up, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Fantastic. Now we move on to the asana section of our practice. So.